It's fucking art book time. <laughs> Let's take a look at Juxtapos Illustration. Um, I quite like these sorts of art books that collect an array of artists and show examples of their work. There's a lot of them out there. Illustration now is quite a big one. That's like an industry sort of dictionary of current working illustrators or some, I don't know, there's a bunch of them. They're quite cool for like little inspirational things. And also I find looking through those sorts of books makes me go, Jesus, I should be an illustrator. This stuff's shit. <laughs> some of it's quite good, but for the most part, some of it's shit. A lot of it's poo poo. Um, Juxtapose obviously is the magazine. It's like, it was started off as a lowbrow magazine and now they feature the same artists again and again and it's all very tired and boring. Um, but books like this are just cool to get a few examples of like stuff. They're good for inspiration, just stuff to look through, images to look through, different, t this is all obviously different artists, different techniques and, and, and mediums, all kinds of shit. So we'll have a little looky look. Um, some, some of them I like, some I don't. Uh, this guy I never liked. I just, this looks very sort of like student work to me and I'm not a fan. Um, personally, that's very much a personal taste thing. It, I just don't like this imagery. It doesn't speak to me visually. It doesn't appeal. Um, and you know, if you're into it, you're into it. If you're not, good, because it's not very good. And it's one of those sort of, it's a series of pieces that's just sort of meh, all animal heads on girl bodies and they've got more arms and I'd uh, Yeah, no, none of this appeals to me visually or otherwise. Uh, you know, it's art, it's somebody's made art and this is the art they've made, so that's cool, but it's not for me. David Cho, love him or hate him. Uh, he's done some okay artwork. The stuff featured in this that's quite okay if you're into his artwork. That's pretty neat. Oh, that's like my rat I did with the guts. Mm, shit. Um, but this, the pieces shown in this book aren't really great examples of his work. So it's whatever. This guy's okay. He's pretty good. Quite a cool, bold graphic style of artwork. That's very cool. I like that. Pow. We like pow. Um, yeah, his work's pretty decent. We like it. I mean, I'm not going through judging everyone's work. That's not the point of looking through this book. It's just, you know, I do that because it's fun to judge people based on what they put out into the world. Jeremy Fish. I always liked his style when I was young, and I feel it spoke to me. This work did speak to me. It's quite visually eye-catching, appealing as it is, but to me as a grown, sort of ever so slightly grown illustrator, it's very sort of just random stuff stuck together with no apparent reason or context. Like RV and feet and skull and sloth and guy with wings and a crown and... Mm, like there's no, there's no reason not to do that, but it's just, I feel like a lot of people, there's, you don't have to, but I feel growth in you know art and such is where you get to a point of um you want your work to not mean something but you want there to be a reason for it um and the reason for this could be like why not draw this random shit together and go crazy it does it looks good it's very graphically good i like it but in terms of content i just feel it's a little bit like meh why um and that's not to say you shouldn't do that, but it's just... Mike Giant, I like his work. His very, very, very clean tattoo work. I really like his graffiti as well. He's got a very clean and bold graffiti style. Um, yeah, it's sort of Sharpies and spray paint tattoo artwork, that kind of thing. Like, I, I wouldn't hang it on my walls, but I appreciate it for what it is. Um, and I do, in a, a lot of graffiti, you see what I was talking about with... Um, that stuff. You see a lot of graffiti artists 
not a lot, but there's a, there are a bunch of graffiti artists who start off doing wild style pieces, crazy, you know, arrows and twists and things going all over the place so you can't read them. And then later in the years, they simplify their pieces um, so they become more legible and more bold and more impactful um, because they sort of, they get rid of all the shit you don't need and they boil it down to, you know, the reason they're doing it. Um, and I feel with illustrations like that where it's just random stuff it just seems to be a bit like get rid of the random stuff and have something you know some content even like this it's not my style but it's really good the colors are really good it's really you know quite visually visually pleasing and it's all right there um yeah this guy there's two of these uh, there's two brothers the hanukkah brothers Hanukkah, 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 um, brothers from Israel. Um, their artwork's amazing. That should be bigger because that figure there is great with him sort of looking at her and the background character is great. Um, yeah, the shapes and... Uh, oh! Oh, bloody wow! I didn't even know that was in there. We're doing hyenas today. That's cool. That's a really fucking cool image. I like the contrast of big, bold, black and white with like more rendered fur in the hyena. And that's his mane's very bold. That's cool. Um, but yeah, the, the body forms are really, really nice. Really cool imagery. Really good use of colour as well in all of the pieces. Again. We like this. We like this a lot. Really, really nice work. Similar to James Jean in a couple of ways, in not many, but it has hints. I guess maybe just how he draws kids just reminds me ever so slightly of James Jean. And more pieces by him, that's cool. That's really nice. That's really nice. They're really good pieces. Really good, uh, very human illustrations. Like they, they capture something of the human experience in them, which is really, really cool. It's a very hard thing to do. It's easy to draw a person, but to really capture like some essence of being human is very, very difficult. Um, this stuff's a little bit all over the place for me. Not very pinned down. You know, just very sort of basic illustration kind of work. Aaron Hawkey has always been uh, someone I've had my eye on. This again, this this doesn't do him justice. Follow him on Instagram and see his black and white ink work. His cross hatching he does is insane. Like you wouldn't believe. Like these, you know, his paintings are cool. They're cool shapes and colors, and you know, almost leaning into that random stuff kind of space. But it's done with enough sort of like atmosphere and technique that it. it it becomes something else entirely. Definitely look at his black and white stuff, Aaron Hawkey, um, because it really is another level of, of drawing. James Jean, don't really need to say anything about him. Everyone knows him. He's like, you know, one of the, the most well-known illustrators on the planet. I didn't plan to flip through every page of this. I might have to speed through because otherwise we'll be here for ages. Uh, James Jean, you all know who James Jean is. Look him up. These guys, mm. Mm -hmm. just sort of okay cool cool illustrations yeah not fantastically impressive whatever whoever this guy is christopher lee isn't that the guy who played dracula Ooh. uh quite quite bold yeah graphic cartoon stuff yeah. travis millard i really really like i've always loved his work um i love how he draws Weird, weird looking little people. Um, his stuff's really good to look out for. Just, it's really cool looking like graphic illustration work. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that. That's fucking cool. I've tried to do similar things like that, but I just don't quite get that feeling. There's something like really raw and, and sort of gritty and grimy and filthy about that. I really, really like it. Um, he does more sort of like user-friendly pieces as well. Um, but he also does stuff like that. Mode 2 uh, was a British graffiti artist and now he paints lots of lots of like, you know, good stuff I guess, but very lewd 
drawings of women and stuff. Very cool. Uh, eh, I guess he paints other stuff as well, but pff, whatever. Um, this is quite a neat aesthetic. I do quite like this sort of old timey advertising work aesthetic. This look, this vibe. So that's quite cool to see. Alex Pardee, frankly, not a fan. I understand why people like him. I just do not. His work is not appealing to me at all. It's like, again, I get why you would like it, but to me, it's just not all that. It's somewhat amateurish. Not, And my work probably comes across as hugely amateurish. I'm not saying, oh, I could do better. I'm just saying, for the artists he's around and the pedestal he's put on, I don't feel that his work is all that. It's very sort of like, mm, meh, meh. More sort of like, you know, random stuff collaged together without too much meaning. And it might have meaning to him and I understand where he's come from and his battles with mental health and stuff and I do, I get it. But his artwork to me is just sort of meh. I just don't care for it personally. Collage can be cool. Some of this stuff's pretty neat. Not my thing. These are some pretty cool illustrations. I really like the inks and stuff in that. The contrast. Um, as a whole, kind of, eh, okay, cool. I like collages like that, though. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, neat, cool. Cool little drawings. Uh, that's, is that that Kawasaki girl? No, Amy Soul. Oh, very similar to... Is it Audrey Kawasaki or someone? Their work just looks identical to that, basically. Just girls painted on wood. Very, you know, nice, quaint, feminine, sort of, meh. Cool, whatever. Jeff Soto. I really like his pieces visually, but they do... I know, he kind of builds a world of, like, aliens and robots and stuff, which I quite like, and they're quite, you know, spacescapes. But some of his work gets a little bit like random whatever but then some of them are really cool actually yeah yeah i like him i'll, I'll give him i'd give him a, a hand job um baron story uh very very sort of like kind of weird out there illustrator he's done stuff for like nasa like nasa illustrations of interiors of rocket ships and stuff um it does really really like insane detailed work this isn't necessarily a great example of what he can do, but... Oh, Nate Van Dyke! Uh, I really like this guy's work. He's always been one of my favourite illustrators. His character... Uh... <laughs> I should know, shouldn't I? Oh, shit, what was his name? His, his monkey's name. Oh, now I feel bad. See, I was about to say... Oh, uh, me, me and him, him and I... We share somewhat regular messages on Instagram. We're kind of, you know, I'll call him a friend. Fuck it. Yeah, Nate Van Dyke is one of my friends. Um, and I've forgotten the name of his fucking chimp character, so now I just feel silly. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, I'm not going to feel right unless I remember the name of his... Is it in here anywhere? Uh, the crazy chimp. No, he's got a name. Fuck, what's his fucking name? God damn it. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, fuck. Well, there you go. He's... We're such good friends that I forgot the name of his, his chimp character. His colour pieces are really good, uh, but his inking is where I get blown away. His cross-hatching, you can't really see it too well, but yeah, he's got really insane cross-hatching in some of his pieces. Um, look him up on Instagram um, because I have to Google it now. <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna kick myself because I know I know the name. I just cannot fucking remember it. Dutch. Fuck! I knew. I knew it was one word, and it had like a D in it somewhere. Dutch. That's his ape character. Dutch. Right. Ah, uh, feel silly, but hey, yeah, yeah. Me and this guy were basically best friends on Instagram. <clears throat> uh, I literally just messaged him before uh, messaged him before recording this. Dutch, I really like these little like rim lighting he's got here with the paint. 
Uh, definitely look at his Instagram, his cross hatching, uh, like napkin drawings he does on there are really, really fucking good. Um, and this is where you realize I looked through this entire book knowing he was at the end of it just so I could say, oh, yeah, we're, pa we're like this, we are. We're like this with each other. Um, that's a really cool image, actually. I really like the like, rendered bits of the rough outline. Oh, that was weak, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that's... Uh...